Hi and welcome to Teen Tech News. Are you into Raspberry Pi photos and video? This tutorial is right for you. Today we're gonna talk about the Raspberry high quality camera match with a 16mm telephoto lens. There are tons of tutorials out there on this topic. How can this new video be useful for you? If you have updated your Raspberry Pi with the newest Raspberry Pi OS Debian 11 called Buzai, you can use anymore the old Raspi Steel and Raspi Vid commands, cause they have been replaced with the new Lip Camera applications. As all the videos on YouTube are based on this outdated framework, it's better to refresh our knowledge. Let's make a quick overview of the the Raspberry High Quality Camera. It's equipped with a Sony IMX477 sensor with a resolution of 4056 by 3030 at 12.3 megapixels and it can record video at 1080 progressive 30, 720 progressive 60 and 640 by 480 progressive 60 slash 90. Even if the recommended lens are the 6mm wide angle lens and the 16mm Televoto lens, you can find a long list of compatible lens like a C-mount A to 50mm zoom, fish eyes 2.8 to 12mm, 25mm, 35mm, 50mm, and if you have Nigen, Canon or Sony lens, adapters are available. Finally, the time has come to test our camera module, so first of all we have to fit the C adapter to the 16mm lens. Now. We had to fit the lens to the camera, rotating the 16mm lens and the C adapter clockwise all the way into the camera module ring. This back focus ring can be used to adjust the focal range of our adjustable focus lens and in this case we need to screw it in fully using the provided little screw to make sure it doesn't move. It's time to connect the camera CSI port to the Raspberry Pi 4 camera port. Let's lift up gently the edge of the camera CSI connector and let's insert the ribbon cable in, then push down the edge of the connector. Let's do the same with the Raspberry camera port, connecting the ribbon cable in the right way. Now that the camera is physically connected to the Raspberry Pi, let's install the module on top of a tripod to make the aperture and focus regulation simpler and safer. Let's deal with the software now. We have to check that our kernel, GPU, firmware and applications are up to date. Let's type apt update to update our package list and then let's type sudo apt full upgrade to update all our installed packages. We should be good to go, so we're gonna use a specific command to test it, libcamera-hello. Let's type it into a new terminal console and we'll see a 5 second long preview window showing what the HQ camera is shooting. Adding dash T plus the duration in milliseconds allows us to choose how long the preview is displayed. If 10 seconds is what we want, we can write lip camera dash hello dash T 10,000. If you want to run it endlessly, we can use dash T zero, pressing Ctrl C in the terminal or clicking the window close button to stop the preview. The dash T0 option is very useful to regulate the aperture and the focus of our 16mm lens. The preview window size and location can be set adding dash P plus the settings X, Y, W and H. Just like this, lip camera dash LO dash P 200, 200, 500, 500, where 200 and 200 are the X and the Y positions and the double 500 are the size. Those settings don't affect the size or the aspect ratio of the images being shot by camera, but only the preview. For a full screen preview, we can type lip camera dash hello dash F. Let's adjust the two gears on our 16mm lens in order to turn the camera aperture and the focus. And then let's type lip camera dash JPEG dash O my image dot JPEG. Our camera will display a default preview for 5 seconds and then capture a full resolution JPEG to the file myimage.jpg. We can alter the preview duration and the image resolution just like this. libcamera-jpg-o myimage02.jpg-t 1000-width 1920-8-1080. The dash O stands for output. Dash T sets the preview duration in milliseconds, 
with an 8 adjust the image size to full HD. There is one more option an image can be captured with, lip camera dash still. Let's test it by typing lip camera dash still dash show my image 3.jpg. The lip camera still application can be used to save files as PNG, BMP and also binary RGB or UAUV with no file format. If you have some experience in photography, you have just probably asked yourself, is there any chance to get a raw image from this camera? Yes, there is. Raw images are the best in terms of workflow quality. As they come directly from the image sensor without any processing, they contain lots of metadata information about white balance, color metrics and levels, so you can post-produce them without any quality loss. The raw images are saved to the DNG extension compatible with all the best photo editing apps. Let's capture a raw image typing lip camera dash still dash r dash o my image 4.jpg. This command will output a raw image as well as a JPEG because of the dash R option. I believe everyone following this video until now is interested in shooting video, so it's time to run the video capture application typing lip camera dash vid dash t 10000 dash o my video dot h264. The camera will record a 10 second video using the default h264 encoder. We can also encode our videos with motion JPEG or a compressed and unformatted way UV420 typing lip camera dash vid dash t 10000 dash dash codec mjpeg dash o my video dot njpeg or lip camera dash vid dash t 10000 dash dash codec way UV420 dash o my video dot data. There are some useful options to set our video properly. Let's see some of them. When using the Motion JPEG codec only, we can set the quality to a 100 maximum, where 50 is the default value, like lip camera dash vid dash dash codec njpeg dash o my video dot njpeg dash q80. Let's see how to set the target bitrate in bit per second when using the A264 encoder. Lip camera dash vid dash b 10 million dash dash width 1920 dash dash 8 1080 dash o test dot h264 in this command line dash p 10 million stands for a 10 megabyte per sec bitrate you can play it with all the possible options and configurations following the official raspberry links in the description i must admit the guide could be organized better because it jumps from side to side sometimes without a logical thread. However, there is one more last topic I will tell you about, how to set the white balance. The white balance affects the coloration in our images, and it depends on the type of lighting that we are using. Let's make it easy with a practical example. In this video I've used three LED panels with 3000 Kelvin color temperature. The lower the color temperature, the warmer the color, so a light source with 3000 key appears yellowish and warm while a color temperature above 5400 key appears bluish and cooler. In every shooting, the white balance must match the color temperature of the light source. In my case, I set the video camera to 3000 key. Let's see how to set the white balance of our HQ camera by the command lip camera dash still dash o test.jpg dash dash awb tungsten. In this command line, the dash dash awb option set different color temperature following a codified scale from a warmest step to the coolest one, like incandescent, tungsten, fluorescent, indoor, daylight and cloudy. This camera module allows you to do many things like post-processing, motion detect, creating time-lapse video, taking pictures at a regular interval, streaming and much more. So I suggest you study further the official guide or other tutorials. It's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and if yes, make sure to subscribe, like and share it. See you soon.